Look, Paul is not for to reopen that case. So you, Kevin, Dylan, or anybody else that want that case reopened, Paul said he don't. He said his wife already look like several dumbasses. He said he don't want to look like a dumbass too for getting false evidence that looked like Adam was in, that um committed the crime that all real that Chloe committed the crime. He don't want to get in trouble. He said he don't want to look like a dumbass. He said and his wife already look like several dumbass, so he don't want her to get in trouble. I imagine that he he again. Sending the innocent man to jail. Paul said he ain't got time for that. Paul said he's a somewhat good Paul. Um, Christine is a wannabe um DA with one case on two well two cases under her belt. She said she don't need no more blemishes on her on her on her career or she done. So basically, all seriously. Paul don't want to reopen that case. Cause he said he don't want to look like a dumbass. He said he don't want his bug looking like a dumbass. A piss poor dumbass. So that's why that case not going to get reopened. Cause Paul said he don't want to look like no dumbass. He said this is his first mistake and he ain't trying to get the, he ain't trying to hear that shit. And Christine, y'all know she done made several damn mistakes. Let's not go there like she all innocent in this shit. Of course she want to sit in that shit scrape the trial. Cause it was a Newman. And you know how she lost to the Newmans on trial. Look what she tried to do to Phyllis over several times. But anyway though, I'm done talking about the bug now. Oh, so we can't reopen the case of a budget. That's a full crock of bullshit right there, Paul. Please stop it. You sound ridiculous now. Budget cup. And many people y'all didn't arrest it, y'all. That ain't none of my damn business. Budget cuts my ass, Paul. I told you why you don't want to open that damn case. Don't go there. <laughs> he said resources in the whole boy and in, 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 in the whole in one whole voice. Bitch, what resources? Oh bro, you see in that police office cabin, you and sometimes dealing. That's not all. No, what the fuck? You mean to tell me four idiots working in the police station and you can't hire any more people? Ask the mayor for, uh, for a bigger budget for you can hire Now come on now. Oh, mm. maybe he ain't lying, but then again, that ain't that about goddamn business, y'all sending innocent people to jail, that's why I said the General City was a real goddamn time, I'd rather fly over it than drive through it, cause y'all ain't to get me on no damn, no false ass, trumped up charges, fuck that, that's why I said the General City was an extra real time. I fly, but the motherfucker not drive through it. Because y'all ain't finna get me. Send me to jail, but sudden I didn't do like y'all done did Adam. Sherry, just because a man send you flowers don't mean their feelings like that. Them flowers can mean let's just be friends. Or like that flop thing said, he really fucked up. Girl... And again, I wouldn't expect you to know the difference in that, would you not, Sharon? With that ugly ass outfit you wear today, you need to go back and try it again. How dare you? You have every right to see your grandson. Bitch, well, Victor, your head too goddamn big. Bitch, if I want you to ride my child, I don't give a fuck are you related, grandpa, granddaddy, grand uncle, grand whatever the fuck you are. Bitch, if I don't want you to ride my child, I put a restraining order on your ass. So, I'm talking about something you got every right. Bitch, you wish. Bitch, you wish. Chelsea too weak enough to sit up to your ass. But if that with me, motherfucker, know the fuck you want. If I don't want you around my child, you won't be around my child, motherfucker. Every right the blue moon hell. Okay, keep on thinking that, Victor. Look at drunk and Nicky trying to calm the peace. Can we all calm down? Nicky, sit your drunk ass down. That man is the reason I had him in jail. Sit down somewhere drunken. Don't nobody want to hear your drunken opinion and your drunken stories. You can go on with that shit. You know Victor, you know Victor, Victor guilty. Don't act brand new now, Nick, because y'all starting all over again. That still don't change them stripes from last year. Or what he haven't done yet. So don't go there drunk and don't know it. 
Oh, so Paul no dealing is still investigating the case with or without his help. And Paul seen a little bit oppressed about it. Hmm. Is it because you don't want to feel like a dumbass you and your bug? Or that cause you ain't got enough resources or enough money? Mm hmm. We, 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 the truth to come out sooner, lady. In the way, you still gonna look like dumbasses. So I hope you're ready for that, Paul. And Christine, I hope you're ready for another mark on your um, report card, SDA. That room, <laughs> that left of ass report card you got, SDA. Mm mm, mm mm, mm. Christine, they give your ass too much goddamn power. And you always fall on your face every damn time. For seven, you looking like a dumbass. You decide to suspend him. Why exactly? I don't understand it. But hey, you want to throw around your little, your little, your little whatever power you got there being the officer. You go right on here, Paul. It's still gonna get proved, whether you like it or not. What you gonna do? Arrest him next if he keep on continuing? You can't arrest somebody that wanna waste up their own time now. If you do, Paul, you full of shit. And then she don't start talking like Victor like that. What you gonna do? What, what exactly you gonna do, Nikki? Throw a drink down her throat. Hit her with a bottle. Try to pull her hand. What exactly is you gonna do, Miss Thing, to a young girl like Chelsea? Put her across your lap and spank her. What you gonna do, Nikki? Please explain what you gonna do to her. Cause girl, you ain't gonna do nothing. You gonna do nothing but just sit down and be there and be bit the pump for the rest of your damn life. Girl, fine. So I see Kevin still ain't learned his lesson. And he still don't believe my mom Chloe capable of doing all of this. Is it because you in love with her, Kevin? Is that why you can't see her as the silly bitch she really is? But then again, you ain't too far from a nut so I see why they I see why you so damn attracted to her like a madness, because you both ain't bright. But anyways though, it's Kevin. When have he ever done anything when have he ever done anything nice or intelligent by himself? Not one damn day. So I'm not surprised he don't wanna believe his Chloe until you actually hit him in the face with the shit. Then he'll believe his Chloe. <laughs> Oh, so Mariah trying to print on flower things out. Maybe the florist didn't deliver them. Or oh, maybe she didn't like them. Kevin said, them are flavor flower. <laughs> Find you a new gag, Mariah. Find you a new because he getting to take you a liar already. Find you something else to use. Oh, get the toll, Chloe. You getting on my nerve. What the fuck you meant to say? You getting on my damn nerve. <laughs> <laughs> well, you chose to do, um, they use the annoying bitch to help you claim Anna for murder, so don't be, don't, don't say that now, buddy. Oh, yeah, she gets on people's nerves, a lot of people's nerves. Too bad you just not seeing that until now. So, if you didn't enjoy her working on your damn last nerve, cause she gonna continue to do that. You see that bitch ain't going to town. You better grab her by her head and throw her out of town. That's about your only best bet, or blackmail her ass out of town. I don't know why she's still fucking with you or playing with you like that, but okay. I guess she might got a gun or not ready to shoot your ass if you try something. Honey, she brave these days. Or maybe they ain't gave her some good pills that work that show her she ain't got no fear of nobody. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Sharon up here giving love advice. Child, Sharon can't keep no man neither. She'll be the last bitch on this damn earth that I get love at. But then again, it's Mariah. What else is new? Lord, but I can't get over the fact that this bitch actually sitting up here giving love advice, and Mariah actually sitting up here taking it. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> So the episode ended with Dylan getting a break, catching Chloe and Vic there up there talking. You all think he would have grabbed his damn camera out and started snapping pictures, uh, snuck up close where he can actually hear the damn conversation. But I don't think he's that intelligent either. He's Paul's son, so we'll see what he do with this little case, this little, um, this little, um, 
damn, what the fuck is called? This little break in the case that he got all of a damn sudden. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.